Hello, so let's look how you should work the survey and project base points. So let's go to our uh, site plan. In the site plan I should change my view range so I can see all the objects in my site plan. I go to edit. In this area I select unlimited, view depth, bottom part unlimited and the top part unlimited. And in this section, cut plane, I should select the cut plane number two. So it is in correct location so I can see all objects beneath this cut plane. So in this case, I select, let's say 100 meters beneath the associated level and I press OK. So now I should be able to see all the objects. Now next step, I go to View and I select Visibility Graphics. From this location in the model area, I select Site. If you don't see this, choose Architecture, select Site. From here, activate Base and Survey Points press OK. So you now should see two symbols. One is uh, round and another is triangle. So triangle is for survey point and the round one is for project base point. So you ch should change these uh, points so they get to correct location. So project base point should be uh, it's recommended in cross-section of A1 uh, grid lines. So let's move it to the correct position. If you want to move uh, the base point, you should do these steps. If you just move this object, so it moves all the project. So if you want to move it uh, independent from your project, so you should uh, change this clip and now use Move tool and move to the cross-section of your grid lines. It should snap here and you bring clip back. Now it's showing coordinates from your survey point, how far it is from the survey point. In this case, elevation is zero and the last number shows what is the rotation angle from the true north. And the survey point should be uh, in location, let's say somewhere in your uh, survey plan. And it represents the surveyor uh, point mark, which has uh, exact coordinates uh, and exact dimensions and it is connected with uh, local area coordinate systems. So let's say my survey point is in this uh, location and in elevation after you put your survey point to correct uh, XY uh, location you should also put the correct elevation. So in this project it is selected zero so you should choose the right one from your surveyor site plan.